My favorite part is the shopping. Yes. <laughs> Especially when that's the fun part. Mm -hmm. Baby hair. Just growing baby hair. Hello everyone, we're back with our latest episode of Ask Me Doctor, a health video series especially brought to you by motherhood.com.my. I'm Alisa Sarah and our topic for today is first time mamas, what to expect. I still remember the excitement and fears I went through the moment I got positive results on my first pregnancy test. And then during that time I had so many questions and everyone was giving me too many different answers. So today we are lucky to have Dr. Nicholas Lim an obstetrics and gynecology consultant from Columbia Asia Hospital, Pusayin Jaya to help us navigate through this exciting yet sometimes daunting period of pregnancy. Hi Aliza, thank you for having me on the show. How was your first two pregnancies? Uh, to be honest, it was a mix of excitement and very nerve-wracking mm -hmm. emotions. But I definitely feel a lot more confident if I were to tackle it for the third time around compared to the first two. Because you already know what to expect when you're expecting. Well, I hope so. Sometimes it's always unexpected. <laughs> I remember spending a lot of time asking Dr. Google things mm. like, am I really pregnant? When I couldn't even feel anything. Yep. So doctor, could you tell our mamas out there, what are some of the things they need to be aware of in their first pregnancy? First pregnancies can be overwhelming. It is. It's important <laughs> to understand the changes that you may experience and how to take care of yourself during this exciting time. Firstly, your hormones during pregnancy will not only result in changes to your body like developing a baby bump, being fatigued, having discomfort in some parts of your body, but may also cause emotional and having frequent mood swings. But the joy of having a baby outweighs all these inconveniences, so do embrace and enjoy every moment of your pregnancy if you can. Once you know you're pregnant, it is important to plan your prenatal visits. While there is no set time for checkups, I strongly advise first-time mothers to come in early once your home test is positive to check for viability, ensure that it is not an ectopic pregnancy, right. and to do a dating scan. This also allows your ONG doctor to monitor your baby's growth and development, and also to check for any potential health concerns for both mum and baby. In your early stage of pregnancy, it is important to start uh, the pregnancy checklist too, so you don't miss out on anything or wait till uh, the very last minute Things like attending an antenatal class to prepare for labour, right. breastfeeding and caring for your newborn, choosing your delivery hospital, devising your birth plan, and also shopping for pregnancy and newborn essentials. Speaking of shopping, mm. and from my experience, we are not just referring to buying baby products here, that's especially cool. when that's the fun part. Mm -hmm. But first-time moms must also consider taking up a prenatal insurance plan where this is vital to ensure that you and your baby are supported during your pregnancy and after childbirth. With so many preparations needed to welcome our precious babies, this would at least provide some peace of mind or financial help if anything unforeseen happens. Choose a plan that prioritizes your well-being, especially on your mental health, that supports your delivery journey, especially on complications and emergencies, and that provides a holistic protection for your baby before and after birth. Do pregnancies get easier with every subsequent pregnancy? Every pregnancy is different and unique on its own. For most <laughs> mums, true. being pregnant the second or subsequent time can be easier than the first. Having experienced it before, you'll be better equipped to know how to look after yourself. However, it may also be more challenging uh, to manage multiple kids and the household. Oh, yes, in that second is or subsequent so pregnancies. true. I think managing another kid while having morning sickness would definitely mm. be a challenge for moms out there, right? <laughs> How does diet affect pregnancy? Eating a balanced diet, it's important okay. because the body needs more nutrients than it used to. Choose food high in fibre that are enriched, opt for healthy proteins and make sure you are getting enough vitamins and minerals in your daily diet while pregnant. Poor diets lacking in key nutrients such as iodin, iron, folate, calcium and zinc during pregnancy can cause anemia, preeclampsia, hemorrhage and even death in mums. They can also lead to stillbirth, which we don't want, low birth weight, prematurity and developmental delays in the children. One thing I learned from my previous pregnancy mm. is do not diet or try to lose weight during pregnancy. Both you and your baby would need the proper nutrients in order to be healthy. Just like Dr. mentioned, mm. good nutrition during pregnancy and enough of it is very important for your baby to grow and develop properly. What pregnancy symptoms are normal and what isn't? Normal symptoms such as mild swelling, especially puffiness around the face, 
hands, legs, feet and ankles. Stomach problems such as nausea and vomiting, right. heartburn, gas and also bloating. Mild aches and pains all over the body, especially back aches and leg cramps at night. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bathroom issues, needing to pee frequently, Okay. Leaky bladder, constipation and haemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. That's a killer. Changes in your mouth such as swollen gums that may lead to bleeding. Breathing issues, stuffy nose and also shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Snoring as well at night. Some skin changes such as like brown spots on the face, stretch marks on the tummy and also varicose veins which are unsightly at times. Some potential problems that we may need to look out for mm -hmm. and this may indicate serious problems and are signs to call your doctor immediately. Right. Okay. The following ones are signs for preterm labour. Vaginal bleeding or spotting, mm -hmm. unusual or offensive smelling discharge, mm -hmm. lower abdominal cramping, lower back ache, regular tightening of the abdomen, which we call contractions, contractions. Yeah. that doesn't go away. Urination problems that may be burning in sensation and also may be associated with fever. All these are signs of urinary tract infection. Any sudden or excessive swelling, Watch for unusual swelling in the face and uh, fingers. fingers. This may de no, uh, denote preeclampsia. Some severe pains that may include bad headaches and also uh, strong abdominal cramps. Unusual rash that may or may not be associated with a fever. Some illnesses and fevers that's associated with dizziness, severe nausea and vomiting and also higher than normal temperature. These may all harm the baby. Last but not least, pelvic pressure which you feel some pressure down below. Down um, this may be signs that you should get in touch with your doctor for medical attention urgently. Okay. I would have to agree, like doctor, those are really good references for mm. new moms to look out for. If you are unsure whether a symptom is serious or not, you should always check with your doctor. Although we always hope for a smooth sailing pregnancy, sometimes the unexpected do happen. Which is why having a prenatal plan from the early stages of pregnancy is important to ensure complete protection from the unforeseen for mom and baby, such as pregnancy complications, miscarriages, congenital conditions, critical illness, and even death. Having a protection plan in place also provides mom with a peace of mind when preparing for labor in advance or seeking support during pregnancy. As a new mom, going through labour mm. for the first time can be very scary and daunting. <laughs> what should we expect during labour? While each labour and birth is unique on its own, the process of vaginal delivery follows these four stages. First stage is from the beginning of the labour until the full dilatation of the cervix. The second stage is from the full dilatation of the cervix till the birthing of the baby. This is when the bearing down of pushing where... starts. Third stage is for the delivery of the placenta and membrane. And the new term we call it the fourth stage, it's the involution, where the uterus returns to its original size and position. So a vaginal birth is usually the safest way for your baby to be born. But sometimes health problems and pregnancy complications might make caesarean section mm -hmm. the safest way to birth your baby. Right. Even if you're planning for a vaginal birth, it's good to find out uh, more about giving birth by caesarean section. You might need a planned caesarean section for medical reasons such as placenta previa, mm -hmm. a breech baby, an unplanned or emergency caesarean section that may also happen if there are problems in pregnancy or during labour. So I have to agree with you, doctor. Mm. Giving birth is truly a one-of-a-kind experience. That's correct. An easy birth and a perfectly executed birth plan is ideal. But we know that even the most carefully planned birth can take twists and turns, right? Mm -hmm. In those cases, it's important to be prepared for alternative delivery methods as advised by your doctor. So doctor, what are the best ways to reduce my baby's risk of a birth defect and development delays? While there is no 100% guarantee uh, to be free of birth defects, some of the ways you can reduce it are number one, taking folic acid and your other prenatal vitamins. Two, attend all routine prenatal appointments. Three, follow doctor's orders and only take the supplements and medication we recommend. And last but not least, avoid using harmful substances such as alcohol and cigarettes at all times while pregnant. What about alcohol that we use like such as sanitizers or like skincare? Is that okay to use? I think those are fine. Okay, those are fine. <laughs> Just uh, do not consume them. All right, got it, got it. Thanks, doctor. I understand that birth defects cannot always be prevented, mm -hmm. but there are many aspects of prenatal care that can protect your unborn baby just like doctor has mentioned. If your baby does have a birth defect or fetal condition, be assured that there are many treatments which are now available that have revolutionized and affected baby's ability to survive and thrive after birth. 
You might feel overwhelmed and unprepared, but you're not alone. And many people and resources are available to help you and your child. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Nicholas, for those insights. You're welcome. <laughs> this has been a very helpful and informative discussion. So would you have any final advices for all the mommies out there who are going through their first pregnancies? To all expectant moms out there, these are my advice. Take care of your diet, exercise regularly, get enough rest, make a birth plan and be prepared for any changes. Definitely. Go shopping early and don't wait until the last minute when you're ready to pop. <laughs> yes. And most importantly, enjoy your pregnancy. Yes, that is so true. I mean, I think the my favorite part is the shopping. <laughs> yes, I think for all, all mums too. Yes, yes. Okay, once again, thank you so much, Dr. Nicholas, for your valuable tips, advice, and encouragement for all our new mummies out there. And sharing from my own experience as a first time mom previously, having the right support during pregnancy and labor is really important during this life changing time. Pregnancy can be a physical and emotional roller coaster, and for some of us, it can feel like the longest nine months of our lives. Getting the right support to meet our physical and mental health needs is important for us and our newborn babies. Prudential believes that new mamas deserve the right support during childbirth. That's why ProMy Child Plus is designed for all moms and babies out there, providing comprehensive protection starting from 13 weeks of pregnancy and continues to cover your child until the age of 100. To learn more about how you and your child can get protected with ProMy Child Plus or to schedule an appointment with a Prudential representative, please visit the link below. We hope our moms-to-be have enjoyed our episode today. Don't forget to take part in our contest to win an exclusive motherhood wellness box worth 100 ringgit and Prudential Kids combo set. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be sharing more tips to support your pregnancy journey. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. I'm Alisa Sarah. I'm Dr. Nicholas Lin. And this is motherhood.com.my. Bye! Bye!